Hello guys, this is Hershey aka My Balkan Gaming and today I will show you the brand new Admirality system in Star Trek Online which is currently on Tribble. So let's see what do we have here. So it unlocks every ship you have on that character and I have a couple of them. And there we see the Admirality system. Assignments in maintenance, open slots. Currently, we have three open slots that will uh, we will uh, progress and unlock, of course, more slots on the way. So here's, here is the United Federation of Planets campaign. On top, we have the X campaign XP and below that we have available assignments and on deck assignments. So for results what could we have some skill points, some special items, EC, well not bad. Let's plan an assignment, divert the comet from inhabited planet. Ooh, a rogue comet. Interesting. So it's required engineering tech and psi points and we press select and then we'll choose a required ship for that. Let's see. Jemhadar Dreadnought. Success rate, success chance 89%. It's only required tech points and we need to add more ships. No, let's 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 try on with only one ship and see what happens. There you go. You can also view the details and it seems it's two and a half hours to complete. Fortunately it seems there is no force complete button that would be useful and also monetized currently no pass tokens I presume we'll get that later on let's negotiate for the return of the salvage you need 70 tech points here 130 engineering and 80 science let's see the engineering ships you can filter them here I'll put that guardian and we need more, more points, a little more. Let's put that Ferengi one and it seems success chance is now 100%. Let's begin that assignment. What else can we do? Uh, Let's plan another one. Reinforce trade blockade on Federation planets. Uh, for this one we need some science. Science heavy ship. Let's find it. And start the third one. So all slots are filled. And by progressing in the campaign we'll unlock these as, uh, assignment slots. Here is the Klingon campaign. First up is the tour of the of duty. That's a 10 mission assignment chain it seems. We'll do that one later on when we unlock some of these, uh, when we finish some of these uh, assignments. So that's pretty much it. This is Admiralty, Admiralty or Admiralty, who knows. In the summary, ship maintenance will, every time you finish um, an assignment, those ships you used will We'll, uh, we'll go to this ship maintenance section where there'll be 
like frozen for a uh, appropriate amount of time that's who knows how much but that's what I have read before uh, anything else anything new I don't see anything new that's pretty much it until one of these uh, Simon finishes and then I'll show you what happens then Let's see what happens when a uh, assignment is finished on the new Admiralty system or Admiralty so it blinks and it seems this negotiate for the return of the salvage is complete you'll get some RD material space token and some campaign points it seems the final outcome is critical well let's see if that upgrades these uh, rewards that we see currently here so let's collect well it seems it does we have some trioningus tritanium nine pass tokens and 1000 dilithium ore well that's that's interesting as it was it seems when you crit the window doesn't show the real result let's try the Klingon Empire tour of duty and it seems we can also unlock unlock and use the Klingon campaign at the same time as the on let's first pass some missions can we do that yeah that's that's fine as you it seems get pass tokens every time you successfully finish the assignment and these on deck assignments also change when you pass the uh, one of the assignments seems we have one open slot let's plan Klingon Empire tour of duty first of ten uh, missions what ship will get it's fairly low on requirements so let's take we can't take tactical escort retrofit let's get the cation a trucks carrier i don't use it anyway um let's begin the assignment and that's pretty much it oh for that tour of duty it seems you get when you finish it you get a large portion of uh, dilithium and on the fed side you get skill points so the, that's the difference it seems we leveled up here and as you progress you level up get some new rewards and that's pretty much it pretty straightforward system I like I, I like the do duty officer system and I like this one oh here is the ship maintenance so all of those ships I used for that previous assignment are now on cooldown so that's interesting so I like the system I would thought that uh, we could actually use them as in real-time strategies but seems that this engine is just not built for that I like it as a duty officer system it's a uh, it seems fun it's pretty straightforward and simple uh, and it seems everyone can use it and that's pretty much it from me today guys be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time Hey guys, thank you for watching, be sure to like and share this video, follow me on these social sites and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.